What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at tensor operations for deep learning with PyTorch. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at tensor operations. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at tensor operations, and we're gonna probably spend a couple of videos on this. I don't wanna go too deep into this. I don't wanna get bogged down with this. We're gonna learn as we go, but there's a couple of little things you probably need to understand before we get started, just to familiarize ourselves with tensors and tensor operations and things like that. So that's sort of what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using Google Colabs as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this PyTorch series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a Jupyter Notebook open here in Google Colabs, and I'm just calling this Tensor Ops, and we're just importing Torch as always. So let's create a tensor. So I'm just gonna call this my underscore Torch, and let's make this into a Torch uh, with an A range of, let's say 10. All right, so we can view this guy, and we can see we've just got a basic tensor with 10 things here, zero through nine, right? Well, what if we need to reshape this? We often need to reshape our data. How do we do it? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can use reshape and view. And we're gonna look mostly at reshape. Reshape and view are very similar, and we'll talk about that in just a second. If you're coming from like NumPy, you're thinking reshape, because that's what you do in NumPy. If you're not familiar with NumPy, I've got a whole NumPy playlist. I'll put a link somewhere around there, and you can check that out if you're not familiar. I'm gonna stick mostly with reshape, but you know, like 90% of the time, view works very similarly, almost exactly the same. So let's reshape this guy. Let's go my underscore torch. And this is going to be uh, my underscore torch dot reshape. And let's make this a two by five. Now we can my underscore torch to run this guy. And we see we've got one, two by one, two, three, four, five. All right, so this makes sense because we had 10 things. If we tried to do like two by six, right? We'd get an error here because that doesn't shape up. It doesn't fit the shape, right? There's not enough things. You would need 12 instead of 10 if you wanted two by six. So, you know, just keep in mind that has to make sense. We can also reshape if we don't know the number of items, right? And we could do that using negative one. So let's create another one of these real quick. Let's go my torch two, and this is going to be a torch dot a range. And let's keep it at 10. So that'll look like this. If we want to then, let's say my torch two equals my torch two dot reshape. And we want two, but we're not sure how many there are. We can go negative one. Now you might be thinking, how do we not know? Well, a lot of times you're dealing with thousands of numbers, even millions of numbers, and you may not be sure exactly how many items there are. So you could just slap a negative one on there. And then let's my torch two to check this out. And we have an error because I misspelled torch. Whew, Monday morning. All right, run the skin and the and boom, there we go. So, you know, if we change this like this, again, this is not gonna work out because the numbers don't match up, right? You can't have two by something if there's 15. So if we change this to, for instance, three by something, and that would work out because three divided by 15 is five. So we have a, so we have a one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five shaped tensor. So, okay, that's cool. Now we can also do the same thing in the opposite direction. So we can go, you know, negative one by say five. And we're gonna get the same thing. If we change this to a 10, this is gonna be the same thing. It'll just be two by five now instead of three by five, right? So very cool, very easy. Now I mentioned view. These same things can be done with view. So, you know, let's go my underscore torch three equals a torch dot a range of 10, my underscore torch three, there we go. So now let's go my underscore torch four equals my underscore torch three dot view. And if we want to change this by to two by five, for instance, we could do that. My torch four, same deal. So like I said, view 
and reshape are very similar. And if you want to really dig into the differences, if you're interested, just head over to Google and type in what's the difference between reshape and view in PyTorch. I misspelled torch. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but you'll see the Stack Overflow article right away. And here it is. I'll copy this and put it in the notes here. You can read this. Uh, it's really a good sort of discussion of the differences between those. If you're into it, you can read it. Um, I'll just type in uh, differences between shape and view. And I'll just add that in there. So you guys could check that out in the notes, uh, in the code of this thing up on GitHub if you're interested. Uh, but that's cool. Now you'll notice with reshape and view, they will update. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's go my underscore torch uh, five equals a torch dot a range of let's say 10. So this is my underscore torch five. We look at this again, we've just got this. Now let's change one of these things. How do we do that? Well, first let's, let's reshape this real quick. Let's go my underscore torch six. That's going to be my underscore torch five dot reshape. And let's again say two and five. And let's take a look at this real quick, just so we can see it. Oops, my torch six. Sorry, there we go. So here we've got it. Now let's change our original torch five. Let's go my underscore torch five. And now let's change the second item. That's one. So this is the zeroth item. This is the oneth item. So instead of this being a one, let's change it to four on four one. All right. So let's my underscore torch five dot and look at this. So now it's zero, four, one, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, what happened to our my torch six? Well, let's take a look. My underscore torch six. You'll notice zero, four, one, four, one. It has been updated, right? So when you make a change to the original tensor with reshape and view, that change will get reflected. It'll get updated automatically. So that's cool. So this right here, changing an item in our tensor sort of leads me to slices. Let's talk about slices real quick. So let's go slices and slices allow you to grab a section of your tensor, right? So let's go my underscore torch seven. And this is just going to equal a torch dot a range of, I don't know, let's just stick with 10 again. So my underscore torch seven, boom, boom, boom. We already know we can grab any item from there. So let's go my underscore torch seven. Now let's say we want uh, this seven right here. That's the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh item. And these are numbered, index numbered, just like a Python list. So they start at zero, right? Not at one. So here we could just grab the seventh item and that's seven. And you notice it's not grabbing the number seven. It's grabbing a tensor scalar, I guess, of seven, right? So that's different than just the number seven. So keep that in mind. So here, let's say, grab a specific item. There we go. And here we can now grab a slice. And these work very similar to just Python slices, right? If you're familiar with those. But before we do that, let's reshape this just to make it a little more interesting. My torch eight equals my underscore torch seven dot reshape. Let's go five two this time. Let's mix it up. <laughs> so, so let's go my underscore torch eight. So there we go. Now let's say we want this second column, one, three, five, seven, and nine. How do we grab that? Well, let's go minus score torch eight. And we pass in our brackets and we want up until the one th column, right? This is column zero. This is column one because columns start at zero, just like Python lists start at zero, right? So if we run this guy, we get one, three, five, seven, and nine, one, three, five, seven, and nine. Now that's cool, but this is sort of, um, almost looks like a list, right? It's flat, it's straight. What if we want to keep the shape here? This is a column. We want to return a column. So let's return column. We could do that by calling my underscore torch eight, same brackets, same colon, same one, but now we want sort of everything behind it. I guess you would think of this as and that will return, that will keep the structure of it. So here we get one, three, five, seven, nine, like that. And that's pretty interesting. So again, I've been doing all these things with reshape. You can use view similarly, head over to this page to read about the differences. But honestly, they're really at this point, 
aren't that many differences that you need to be aware of right now. Um, maybe in the future, we'll get into this more, but you can read this page and sort of dig into it if you're interested. Otherwise, just roll with it. We're going to probably use shape, reshape most of the time just because <laughs> personal preference, I guess. But uh, that's all there is to it. So this is just a sort of first touch at tensor operations. There's lots more of these. Probably in the next video, we'll get into arithmetic, doing different math things on these tensors. Uh, but for now, this is a pretty good intro, I think, of just sort of making you a little bit familiar with these things and some of the things you can do with them. Reshaping is something you're going to do a lot, and it's pretty simple, as we've just seen. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.